All right, so tonight I'm going to be watching a movie. And I decided that I was going to mix, which I did already and I loved it. But I'm going to do a little twist. Um, I mixed this, uh, sorry, <laughs> Brazilian cheese bread from Trader Joe's, which I'm obsessed with. Anybody that I work with knows this for a fact. Um, I decided to mix it with these amazing shrimp, which some of you already seen me posting about. I am obsessed with the shrimp because for years I've been wanting to eat, um, sorry, sorry, I've been wanting to eat, um, some fried shrimp. I love fried foods and I'm not supposed to be eating, you know, uh, crustaceans, but I love seafood. So that being said, I just wanted to share with you that I was craving it tonight. Look how yummy that looks. And pretty much what I did was I opened it up in half. You can cut it up, whatever you want. I'm going to put a shrimp in here. Kind of reminds me of like a shrimp pool, but with the idea of it. By itself is delicious. But I have a new obsession for sauces. I love sauces and spices and stuff like that. This I bought at uh, Walmart. Yeah, I actually shop at Walmart sometimes. Not as much. But I do. Yeah, I'm not too snooty to do that. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to mix it up. And let me see what the outcome is of this combination. Seriously? That's my oven. I don't know why this doesn't want to squirt. Come on. All right, there's nothing wrong with the bottle. Look at that, yummy. Some spicy stuff on top. Mm. Oh my God. You get the shrimp flavor with a little bit of salty, cheesy flavor, and you get a bit of a crunch with um, spicy. It's a good combination. Mm. Definitely reminds me of eating shrimp po' boys at some of the festivals. My prayers have been answered. Yep, I'm, I love food. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, oh my God, girl, is that all you do is just eat food on um, freaking... And yeah, I lick my fingers too, because I'm human. I'm not a prissy girl, if you haven't noticed. I'm going to put some of some tahine, see what that's like. Mmm. Oh, hmm. Oh, my God. Yum. So fucking good. That tahine, I don't know. I don't know what the ingredients are. Because I'm not going to take forever explaining it to you guys. Hoping you can all get some in your house. It should be a staple in every house. Yes, I said it. Because that would good, go good on freaking anything and everything. So now what I'm going to do is going to make one. with a little bit of tamarind sauce, which I'm obsessed with as well. Wow, <laughs> messy mama. Heck yes. Mm. I, oh yeah, this is still tasting very kind of Cajun, kind of, um, Caribbean island ish, including when I did it with this um, sriracha mayonnaise. With uh, tahini, it tasted a little bit more on the um, kind of like Mexican food, which I love. I mean, I love all food, doesn't matter where it comes from. If it's good, it's good. 
And lastly, I'm going to try one. With a spicy pickle from Trader Joe's. This is this is what the jar looks like. I don't I don't remember if we have any more right now. But pretty much you can do it with any pickle. It doesn't have to be a spicy pickle. Trader Joe's kosher dill pickles. Um and it's it just says spicy on top. If you ask me which one was my favorite, I have to say, that's a tough one. <laughs> because between the tamarind, the mayo, the spicy sriracha mayo, um, and the tahini, those are my three favorites. The pickle one, that's good too, but it's more on the simple side. Mm. That being said, don't be afraid to try different things, mix it up. I personally love food even extra extra because it took years for a lot of people, companies, sorry, to perfect the gluten-free foods. It's not easy. I mean, so kudos to those who are chefs. Kudos to the companies who um, put together great uh, foods with uh, amazing ingredients for gluten-free people like me or people with celiacs. Mm. Go get you some. <laughs> Love you guys.